Ladies and gentlemen, this is going out to the AMCF clients, the AmeriLegion clients, and the debt, um, see I can't even think of the name, the DAP clients. All of those clients whom we are assisting with their debts, please understand you'll be receiving a letter. If you have not received that letter, you're to contact SACCOM at support by Friday of next week. Okay, today is the 13th. So you add 5 to 3, and what does that give you? So by the 18th of October, if you have not received the communication in your email, then you will need to contact support so that they can give you a copy. The communication is for you to send to your creditors with an S. All of those to whom we are helping you with, you are going to send them a copy after signing the document. The document is self-explanatory. This is in regards to the arbitration that many of you have had or are on the verge of having done. Okay? The letter is self-explanatory and the email that you're going to receive will explain everything. Please note that this is necessary. I, I can't go into too much detail because it is in the letter and I am on fumes right now. It's been a long, long two, three weeks. And so I can just give you the update that we are still actively taking care of business. That communication took better than five hours to put together. You see, I'm not like everyone else. I can't just create letters with ChatGPT and then say, okay, I'm going to send this out just like this because ChatGPT doesn't make mistakes. They have programmed the system, so if I use ChatGPT, he's going to make the communication contradictory. It's going to say something positive in one spot, and then it's going to make it look like I don't know what I'm doing in another spot. Nuances, just little subtle nuances that he does, and he does it all the time. They programmed it that way for me. The rest of you, not going to happen because they can't do it with everybody else because they would lose too much business. Too many people will be complaining. But for people like me, they make the system difficult. So, again, I will tell you again, ladies and gentlemen, this is no I. No I, no I, no I, no I. This is no I. It has all of these different other AI models. So ChatGPT gives me something, and I sit up here and I have them redo it. That's all I do is I go in here and I have all of these different AIs redo whatever ChatGPT does. And I tell it what context to put it in. That streamlines things a whole lot more. It's called NoI. You can find it at searching Gmail, not say Gmail, Google. When you search Google, then you will do GitHub, G-I-T-H-U-B. Scroll down to the middle of the page because you're looking for links. L-E-N-C-X, links at GitHub, no I. Scroll down to the middle of the page, find your operating system, Linux, Macintosh, and Windows are the three that he has made that app for. I believe he's done a very good job, in my opinion. It is a web browser, but you can also add other web browsers, I mean, web sites to that browser. All right, I'm mixing my words up. That means that I am very tired, so I'm going to stop right now. This is just us letting you guys know that we are still working, even on the weekend, to try to get your issues resolved. Speak to you soon. Take care, all of you.